So I guess we're doing this again. Yeah. I don't want to. God knows I don't want to. But, you know what? I promised that I would do it for my 1,000 subscriber special. And here I am with 1,000 subscribers. And one person, exactly one person requested that I finish this up. So, ugh. Once again, Psycho Boy reads Alice Karkle the Fan Fiction. Chapter 11. I hope you're happy, one person who requested this. It's story time, and what a good story we will hear indeed. Carlisle's got snacks for us, and then we ate and they were Troll Rice Krispies. Okay, well it all started- I, I don't remember the voice I gave Carlisle's at all. Some people had canon him as Jamaican. I think I already brought that up. Okay, well, it all started when we were but young grubs. I was the older brother, of course, and he was the small brother. He was always evil, you know. I just never saw it. He rips off the crispy and pushes it through the stitches. Ugh. Wait, he does have stitches? Then how is he talking? Is he signing all this crap out? We used to fight, just play fighting, of course, but then it went more severe. Our grandfather, the Grand Highblood, broke the fight up every day. Wow, okay, that sounded really bad. Were the grubs okay? And then one day, Gansy stopped fighting me. He just stayed to himself. This was when we weren't grubs anymore, by the way. While Carlos tells the story, Rufio joins in on the carpet, eager to listen to the tale. Uh, hey. Uh, hey, dog. And I listen too? Yes, of course, Rufio. Have a seat. Anyway, he was adopted by the goat dead, but the goat left to sail the eight seas. Aren't there seven seas? No, Alice. There are eight. You have watched too much human TV. Yikes, this was true. I love humans, and especially their shows. I love Glee most of all. Anyway, it turns out he passed away. Let's have a moment of silence. And we did have a moment of silence. It was so sad. Why did the goat die? Oh, I know Gamzee's evil, but this was too sad. Okay, moment over. He passed away, and Gamzee met Carcat. They are boy rails, I'm sure you know. They were friends at first, best buddies, but one day Gamzee came over here and he screamed that he hated Carcat. What? Why would he do that? I don't remember him leaving at night. I gaped. Well, he did, and then he stopped visiting here. His poor brother, who is me, missed him. I'm an only child troll and have no living ancestors, so siblings is another concept, but I know the pain of loneliness. Dude, no troll has siblings. That's not how they work. But of course I live with everyone at home, so it's not affecting me. I just wish Karkles wouldn't be so mad at me. Alice, you're daydreaming. Suddenly, I'm aware of Karlas and both Rufio and they're staring at me so hard. So sorry, continue the story. Well, if you're listening, then yes, my grandfather was also evil. He left as well and hired, long, and hired Lord English and two mysterious people. What? There are even more enemies now? Who are they? Well, one is no face that I know, and the other is unidentified. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we could reveal the true identity of both one day. Good luck with that. Anyway, my brother and grandfather are evil, evil trolls, so watch out for them. But if you have a question, you could always ask me. Wow, this is a lot to think of, so all the Makaras were bad except for Kurlaz. He's a nice troll and very sweet, but I wouldn't say cute. He's too spooky for me. Rufio claps his hands at the story and gets up, and I can't help but notice his wings. They were like fairy wings, very beautiful, but not as beautiful as mine, so to speak, because mine were angels. Rufio, I like your wings, is my compliment, because they were st still pretty. Oh, uh, thanks. Well, I uh, have to go. I'm going now. Okay, bye, Alice. Okay, why is he talking like, Tav like Tavros? He's Rufio. He's not Tavros. This is obviously a joke fanfiction. I'm reading way too much into this. He was blushing as he left. That's so cute. Does he have a crush on me? Okay, I admit it. He was kind of hot, but still Karkles is the hottest. Karlaz is nice. He gives me the leftover Troll Rice Krispies, and I eat them as I walk out the door. They were so tasty. While well, Concrete wasn't going to be back until 8 o'clock p.m., so I decided to go somewhere else. By looking at the Alternia Sun, I could see it is 5 o'clock p.m. I have time left to do things with. So, of course, I spread my wings and go to the mall, but just for window shopping because my money is at home and Karkles is at home and it's a big mess. Let's see, if maybe if I buy him something, he will be less mad. So I go to the mall and it's crowded outside. There's been a fight. Lowering my wings, I'm walking towards the crowd and I gasp it's a fight and not just any fight, it's Karkles and Gansey. To be continued... Karkles is what I scream because he's being hurt by Gamzee. Gamzee has his clubs out and it's going to be very bad if someone doesn't do something right now at this very inset tent. But I am fearful. I don't want to step in. It's too scary. Hey, what are you trolls doing? He says. And who is this person? He was a human boy with a green ghost shirt and a jacket and glasses. Now, why was a human here? You ask. Well, we don't just... 
Well, we just don't know, do we? But maybe we'll know soon. Move aside, human. I'm trying to fight, can't you see, peasant? My name is Jake Eng Oh, my name is Jake English, and I won't stand for clown trolls being such a mean bully. Wait, I... John wears the ghost shirt. Jake has the skull shirt. He says in a British accent. What did you say? Well, you're just a human. I have powers of the subjugulars. Gamzee raised his club in the air, but about to hit Jake the human with it, but Jake stopped it with his bare hand. Well, subjugular schmug jugulars, your deadly powers are no match for me because I'm the page of hope. Well, I'm the maid of hope, and I didn't know humans had titles too, and mine isn't for fighting, and well, maybe this Jake's wasn't either, but boy, could he fight. You scumbag, you will pay for this with your life, Gamzee says, screaming in furiness. I will tell my grandfather on you, and he'll kill you. Guys, stop fighting, I yell, and everyone looks to me, frozen. Gamzee, stop it. Jake, you're being nice too, but uh, just stop it. You're going to hurt Karkles. Gamzee laughs and laughs, and Jake gets mad at him with an anger expression. Fine, I had better things to do anyway, so bye, and you will regret this. Gamzee grows his wings and flies away, leaving behind one club with blood on it. Wow, Alice, you saved me. Cargos yells in a mumble because he was startled. Hehe, <laughs> well, it's nothing anyway. Are you okay? He's okay, I can tell, is what Jake says, and he scratches his glasses. I can see when people are injured, that's my ability, but he has a bruise. Wow, you can tell? Well, mind your own business. Okay, he was back to himself. Now everything is fine, and now I'm giggling. Hey, your name is Alice, right? Hel uh, hey, your name is Alice, right? Hello, my name is English. Well, Jake English, and I see you are trolls. Yes, hello, and you're a human. What are you doing here, not to be rude? Well, I'm here because I just want to go to the mall. Wow, me too. What a coincidence. Um, hey, Alice. Well, I found out that Frisco was behind the spider nonsense, so I'm sorry I thought it was you anyway. Do you want to go to the mall? Yes, sure. I want to be alone with Karkles, but Jake follows us. He wants to come too. Well, it's okay. He's cute too, just not as much as my Karkles. So basically, this was a date, even though he still didn't know that I love him. Well, anyway, I'll try again another date, and maybe eventually we can get married, but that's so far into the future. Right now, it was like a double date, and also there was troll ice cream because Karkles bought us some, and it was good, and he got me troll strawberry ice cream with vanilla sauce. He was eating his too and got ice cream all over his face, and of course he was swearing, but he was so cute, I blush and giggle. What are you laughing at, Alice? After, after I forgave you, now you just laugh at me? What is your... What is this? You're betraying me? Karkles, it's just you look so funny. I can't help it. She's right, you know. Just look at yourself. And he goes by a mirror and swears again with a foul mouth, but I love him all the same. I can deal with foul. Fine then. Ha ha. I have troll ice cream on my face. What a laugh. This makes both me and Jake English the human laugh loud. Anyway, I found a really cute clothing store, so I ran in all happy. Tell me when you're done, Karkles says as he... Com He's complaining. I look around, there are pretty dresses, but way too short for me. I'm only 4 feet 13 inches, and yes, just like the homestuck number, but no breaking the wall here. Anyway, I buy a cute pink shirt and a pink shirt to match. They are one oh, oh, a cute pink skirt and a pink shirt to match. They are wonderful. Then I skip out and join Cargles and Jake, but Jake is not there. Where did he go? Jake went to see his long-lost brother, John. I met John before. He has a sister, but I didn't know he had a brother, too. Well, they look alike. I know, right? Anyway, Alice, I have something important to tell you. To be continued. Huh, what is it, Karkles? Is what I say. Is Karkles blushing? His face is turning red. Is this what I think it is? If you want, I can purchase you something. Well, you already got troll cream and clothes, but I mean something else. Wow, thanks, Karkles. He's so kind and cute. Uh, Alice, by the way, why do you always call me Karkles? Oh, I don't know. Hee <laughs> hee. I need to be careful because you might get suspicious before I can tell him properly. Well, anyway, go and pick something. It has to be under 50 boom dollars. Be right back, Karkles. Wow, I can get something. Well, what should I get? I tell Karkles to wait and go ahead of him, almost bumping into many trolls. This is where all the trolls shopped, and sometimes humans and other things like animals, which were allowed, also shopped here. All sorts of people and creatures shopped here. There were a lot of shops, but one caught my eyes in a trap. It was a Homestuck shop. I wonder what Homestuck is, so I go in, and there are plushing keychains of trolls I know. Wow, are we famous? A man passed by the shelves, but all I saw was brown hair. Hello, miss. Can I help you? The shopkeeper says with a smile. Wow, she's friendly. Yes, um, do you have any Karkles things? Karkles, who is that? I mean, Karkat, sorry. Yes, of course, he's Poplar. In fact, there's just one thing left here, you go, dear. Oh, there's one left. There's one thing left. Here you go, dear. Have this, it's only 45 boom dollars. And she hold, held out a small stuffed Karkles. It was so cute and looked just like him, mad face everything. So I paid her the boom dollars and held the small Karkles to my chest while wow, he's so cute. 
Have a nice day, Alice. I mean, customer. Okay, well, this lady with the pink hat knew my name, too. I must be famous if everyone knows my name. Well, not everyone, but close to it. With the last of my boom dollars, I go to Carkles, and Carkles looks at the small Carkles in my hand. Where did you get it? That's kind of creepy. Silly Carkles, it's just you. Oh, well, I guess it's not too bad, but where did you get it, and why didn't you get one of yourself? I point to the shop, but it's gone into thick air. Thick air? Well, it was over there, but it's gone now, and I got it because I love you. I mean, oops, I was just joking. How many boom dollars do you have left? Wow, close one, he didn't notice. Just five, I saved them. I want to go to another place, but you need to come with me. What? Okay, well, fine. Show me the way, Alice. I walk ahead, running to a troll cafe. We just had troll cream. Why are you taking me here? Don't worry, Carkles. We're getting troll soda. Troll soda was my favorite. I always got cherry because it reminded me of Carkles, but not because of his blood, but because he was a mutant like me. Um, then that would be because of your blood. <sighs> if I wanted to discuss logical inconsistencies in this story, I'd be here all day. How did you know I like soda? I just do. The, cash the cashier is a family face. Oh wow, it's Karkin and it's Alice. How are you two doing? Is what Mulan says. What are you do? What are you doing here? You work at the grocery store? Oh well, I actually. Oh well, I work here too. I work two jobs for more experience. Wow, that must be a lot of hard work. Anyway, how much for two sodas? One cherry and one what? Karkles? Actually, I like cherry too. Okay, then two cherry sodas. Mulan does the math and the cashier makes a cha-ching sound. Your total boom dollars is six. Oh no, I only had five. I was one off, what do I do? Uh, Alice, you have one short and I have none. Oh no, maybe Mulan will let the boom dollar go. Sorry, but I need every last boom dollar. It's a rule at that cafe. Then I got a brilliant idea. Okay, well just one and me and Cargles can share it. Sounds good, you're a genius, Alice. I gave her three boom dollar and we get a cherry red soda and it looks like Cargles is cherry red to the silly troll. Silly, we're not sharing from the same soda. We're putting it in different cups. Actually, we're out of we're just out of cups. You need to share it. How convenient. Mulan gives us two straws and we sit at the table and open the can. I'm not going to drink it in front of anyone. Nobody needs to know, he yells in embarrassment. Oh Carkles, it's just us two. Come on, just one sip. We put the straws in and I sip the bubbly soda. Carkles is reluctant, but he drinks too. Okay, it's not that bad. It's just embarrassing when it's with you. Why is that, Carkles? Why the red blush? Nothing, I don't like you. This hurts my heart, but maybe he likes me and is just being stubborn. Are you two in love or something? You only don't say that I like don't say that I like her, I mean I don't. So he does like me. My heart stops in joy. Karkit, my young sister confessed her love too, and you and you ex accepted, so what's this I'm going to tell her? Oh no, I thought he rejected her, so why does he like me and why does he like her? What happened? To be continued. <laughs> Karkit looks like he's being shocked with electricity. Well, that's true. I told her I accepted. Karkos, but you said you loved me. What is this? Who did he love? He can't love both of us. That's not right. Dude, trolls can absolutely love more than one person. Never heard of quadrants? I have to go to the bathroom. Then he runs away, like likely split. <laughs> I am crying now. What does he like, Nepeta? And what does he see in the cat troll? Can't he see I'm pretty and besides I'm perfect for him? I'm a mutant too. Here, Alice, let me give you a hug. You don't need to cry. Mulan gives me a hug, but it's just friendship, not anything weird. I won't tell Nepeta then because you seem to be a good kid. I'm not a kid, I told her my age, and she makes a cat face. Oh, well, okay, my mistake. Anyway, Carkles is still in the bathroom. I can't get him out. He is a guy. I'm a girl. I'm not allowed. I know a guy. And then out of the blue comes a troll Mulan knew, and he was so hot. Also, he was smoking, and that's bad for you. Well, anyway, he came out from around the corner, but same thing. Well, hello there. My name is Cronus. Okay, well, he was a sea dweller, but cute for a sea dweller. Hey, could you tell Cargles to come out of the bathroom, because I need to see him. <laughs> well, of course. He leads the way. I follow him, and he tells me about him. Hey, doll, I'm Cronus. I'm a sea dweller who lives with Cancre and Mulan and Matuna and Pyro. He keeps saying names and smoking. Hey, well, nice to meet you, too. He winks at me. Can he be in love with me already? But my heart is with Karkles, who's in the bathroom. Hey, Karkat, are you in there? This cute troll wants to talk to you. I am, but go away. I don't want to. Why not come out? No, Karkles screams. It doesn't look like he's going to come out, so do you want to maybe go on a date, is what he says to me. Oh, my gosh. Hey, who are you? Leave my house alone. Suddenly there's a big splash. What happened? Cronus breaks the door down and runs in. He fell into the toilet. Oh no, he... Oh, sorry. 
He fell into the toilet. Oh no, he's drowning. I'm not Glob drowning, Glob. Oh no. Um, guys, can you tell me what's going on? And then Karki comes out, he's dripping in water. I fell into the sink, it was cold and terrible. Oh no, well I'm glad you're okay. Karka blushes while he looks at me. Is he going to say something? No, he just walks away. Well, okay, then anyway, we keep walk walking in the mall. Isn't this Aridin's ancestor? What is he doing here? Um, well, he helped to see if you were okay, and now he's here. Haha, <laughs> Karka, nice to meet you. Karka screamed, I know who you are, okay? Let's just keep walking. So now there were three people, well, three trolls, and they were Karkles, me, and Kronos. There used to be Jake, too, but then he went to see his brother, remember? Anyway, like we all anyway, we all found an arcade game place where you can play the games and win the boom dollars. Kronos had money, and we didn't, because we had spent it all on things like soda, just the essentials. Kronos tells us he will win for us, so he plays a car racing game, which is just a racing car against other cars, of course, and Karkles pulls my arm. What well, he's doing this, what does he want? Um, yeah, Alice, I'm going to apologize for you. I'm sorry for what happened earlier. Oh, wow. Well, it's okay, Karkles. We hug and are, we hug. We are made up. Just then, the machine Kronos is using fries up. Oh, no. What is happening? He screams. There's water everywhere, maybe from Karkles falling in the sink. This is an emergency. To be continued. A voice comes out from the speakers who is the head of the mall. The mall needs to be evacuated because there's too much water. Everyone out. It was just some sink water. Oh no, let's get out of here before we're dead. I scream, I hope Jake is okay. Oh, and also John. We all run away, but there's already water everywhere, so we're slipping, of course, though Cronus is a sea dweller, so we swim through the water. Soon we were running, and then outside we're at safe. OMG, what happened? I don't know, but we're out, and now my shoes are wet. Ugh, this is awful. Don't worry, you can get more shoes. In fact, I have some here, look. And Cronus pulls shoes from his backpack and gives them to Karkles. They are nice shoes, also they have his symbol on them. Not Cronus, but Karkles. I'm sorry, what? Why does Kronos have backup car cat shoes? Well, now I have to go back to my house. Goodbye. Kronos gives me his troll number, which is a phone number but for trolls. Wow, what a gentleman. Okay, okay, we'll see you. Karkos puts the shoe on and we decide to go home after a long day, but not before we bump into Jake and John. It's like Jack and Jill, but not a fairy tale. How did you blokes? Did you see the flood? Jake screams with a British accent. Yes, we did see it. Then we notice one, someone standing beside them. She looks like Jade, only with long hair. Hello, guys. What's up? Oh, she... Okay, she's kind of annoying. Which Who is she? I've never seen her before. Oh, you are trolls. Well, I'm Jane. I'm John's sister. Hold up. Jane doesn't have long hair. Jade has... Jade's the one with the long hair. Hold up. What does that say? Yeah, she looks like Jade, only with long hair. That doesn't make sense, because Jane has much shorter hair than Jade. I'm John's sister, and Jake is also my brother. Oh, and Jade is my sister. Hello, Jane. I'm Alice. Hey, human. I'm Car Kit. And the introductions were done. Or maybe I was just being mean to Jane. She's okay. Uh, hello. Well, us humans are going to skittle on off and see your family back at home. Toodles. And now Jake was gone like the wind. Also, all the humans, like he said, were gone too. Now Carcles and I were alone. Oh my goodness, what do I say? Hey, uh, Alice, let's go home. I have things to do. I think I found a lead on Grant Highblood's location. Really? Did you? Where is he? Tell me when you find him. Yes, well, of course I'll tell you because, well, Carcles stops talking now and he's walking away so fast. So I run fast to catch up to him and soon we're back home and the sun's setting in beauty. Oh, oh. No? <laughs> I follow Carcles to his room and he picks up a notebook with writing on it. With writing in it on paper. Well, you see, Alice, the whole time he was already here, he's in the warehouse, like I said. Are you sure, Carcles? He could be anywhere. The only way to find out is to look, but that's for tomorrow. Ugh, I'm tired. I want to drink some troll cocoa and fall asleep. Carcles, I can make some for you if you want. Can you? Well, that's great. Do it. Carcles looks tired and happy all at the same time. Even though bad things happened, the flood happened, the Grand High Blood could be near the city, well, even our house, it's not bad because Carcles is happy. I go to the kitchen and shoo away Napetta, who's under the kitchen table, then I get to work making troll cocoa. The first ingredient is, of course, water, well, that's plain as day. The second is troll cocoa powder, which comes in a container like all other good powders, and then I put them in the kettle, and the heat goes on next uh, then I watch. I hope Carcles likes this. It's the best thing in the world. It's the best in Alternia. Well, not really, uh, but... Well, not really, but you tried, so maybe it'll be let thee. Oh no, it's Sox. What does he want? Sox, what is it? I'm busy making this for Karkles, can't you see? I have a confession to make. Oh no, does Karkles... Does Sox want to confess to me? What do I do? To be continued. Now, ordinarily, this is where I would call it, but, um, given that there are only two chapters left, that'd be a pretty short, uh...
video, so I'm just gonna finish it up. Chapter 16. Well, the truth is, you see, I love someone, but I don't know if they love me back. It's terrible. And well, who is it? Spit it up. Uh, spit it? That, that, that means throw up. It's Aridin. I guess, but my gosh, he liked Aridin, but they're both boys, which isn't bad, but I thought they hated each other. Wow, really? Well, why didn't you, why don't you just tell him? AK, have you told KK you liked him yet? Uh, well, if not that, well, see, it's not Evie. He was right, it's not easy. How could I mess up? Of course he needed more time and preparation. Love takes time. If you like him, I can help you. Just wait until I finish the Strill Cocoa. It's for Karkles. Solix chuckles and laughs. Maybe you should tell KK too. I giggle and embarrass. Oh no, I can't tell him like this. Well, maybe after I make a warm hot drink for him, his heart will be warm. Just then Karkles walks into the kitchen too. Hello, you two. What are you doing in here? Alice, aren't you finished the Drill Cocoa? Yes, Karkles, it's almost finished. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to keep you waiting. Whatever. Hey, Sox, what's wrong? You're blushing. Do you like Alice? What? No, KK. It's not like that. Tell me the truth. You're looking at her with a dreamy look, and also your cheeks are yellow like a bee. All of a sudden, Sox runs into the kitchen. He's gone in the blink of an eye. Poor Sox. He can't tell Karkles who he really loves. Hmm. Well, Alice, I'll be waiting, and Karkles is back to his room, and I'm putting the Trill Coco in a cup. I wonder why he said that. Is he jealous or something? If Karkles was jealous, that means he loves me. Maybe I can tell him after all. Sox is gone, so if he needs help, he can come to my hive room after, and we can talk about his gay love for Aridin, which I'm still surprised over. Hey, Karkles, here's your Cho Coco, and that's what I say when I go to his room. He sure looks sleepy. Aw, oh, thanks, Alice. I was about to fall in his sleep. I I'm glad you pulled through. He grabs the cup and drinks it and licks his lips, smiling at me. Wow, Alice, it's really good. As you say, it's delish. Did you make it yourself? Yes, Karkles, I made it just for you. Enjoy. Karkles does enjoy smelling a rare Vanta smile. It's like a hay in a needle stack. I blush like mad and look at the floor to embarrass the look up. Karkles, I have something to tell you. Is it about the Troll Coco or the Grand High Blood? Well, no, but tell me about the enemy's location. That's what you wanted to talk about before, right? Oh, well, yes, well, see, my brother Kan Cray was researching for his sermons at the library, and he just screamed at me over the phone saying he heard someone say he saw L.E. enter a warehouse. Oh my gosh, really? Is that really true, Karkles? Maybe he mistook him for a troll? No, Alice. L.E. is big and green, but mostly big, and his eyes are special. They changed, so it's no mistake. Yes, I know. I saw him before at the grocery store, remember, Karkles? But I guess now you can say myth confirmed? Now there's another problem, Alice. We have to defeat him one day, but we will, will we be able to without Gamzee? He was our biggest chance, but now he's left and has also grown demon wings. I think he'll never come back. Suddenly, Karkles starts to cry thick tears. Gamzee was his best Kenzie was his friend and now he's gone for good, or maybe there's a way I can talk to him and bring him back even if it means defeating him. So now I hug Karkles and let him cry as I think of all the problems we need to take care of. There's L.E. and Gamzee and of course Aerodyne and Solix to be continued. Final chapter. Okay. <laughs> that night I slept well, even if I was in stress of the situations at hand. In morning I yawned and I guessed because I forgot to tell Karkles about my love for him. Put my slippers on and rushed downstairs, and in a disaster, tripped over Tavros. Oh, why did you do that? He screamed and yelled, almost bleeding in pain. Oh no, I forgot his legs don't work, and so he was laying on the stairs like a shoe. I helped pick him up and pulled him onto my back and fly to the top of the stairs. Those wings were sure helpful. Wow. <laughs> Tavros, no problem. I grew them myself. I said with the joke as I smiled. Do you think I can? Do you think I can grow wings one day? I didn't want to hurt his feelings, but he might hate the truth. So I say, maybe one day, if you believe you can grow wings, they will sprout from your backbone. I don't know, that sounds painful, is it? I couldn't answer because I was born with my wings and don't remember. Anyway, I have to go talk to Karkles later. Wait, Garkat isn't here. What? Tavros explained to me after Karkles heard about finding Lord English, he started doing research with his brother Kankri at the library, and Karkles told me not to come. Why not? I complain, my face full of angry. For your own good, so he says. He knows you'll put yourself in danger. Fine, well, I could spend today thinking of my confession. Also, maybe I could help people. After leaving Tavros, I change into my outside cloths and jump high, getting some sick air. Where should I go, is what I say as I fly idly around my, leg, around my legs dangling below me. Let's see, I haven't been to the park for a long time. I usually just go to the mall. The park has no outlets to charge my phone, but it's the great outdoors and it's good for me. I swoop up and over to the park and slowly land, smiling at a few baby trolls playing in the sandbox. They weren't baby enough to be grubs. So then I fly over in their heads and show them a few air tricks. I don't usually do tricks, but today is warm and sunny and the winds are perfect for my wings. They laugh and clap as I do figure eights and flips. Then I move on further into the park, wishing I brought a picnic. However, at my surprise, there was already a picnic happening. It was a man with blonde hair and sunglasses. He looks family. Hey there, cool troll. Come fly down, he yells, holding a sandwich. It's red inside and it looks like Karkle's blood, only it's not. But hey, it looks delicious, so I land near him, sitting across from this friendly new man. You think I'm cool, huh? 
Of course. Hey, do you want some of this? He breaks the bread and gives me some. I eat half. It's delish. The other half is put into my inventory. My name's Dirk. I know you're Alice. Oh, really? I smile at him. He must have heard about me from someone, but who? Before I can ask, he presses a button on his sunglasses and starts talking to them. No, I can't go over right now. I'm at the park, idiot, he says in a voice that's monotone, eating an orange as he says it. Well, there's a troll here, but she's friendly and also, no, it's not cool, Car. I watch an interest. What could it be? He, he knew Car kid, but maybe everyone knew him? Anyway, TTYL, he says before pressing the buttons, making a hang-up noise. Who was that? Was it a troll? I asked, and he says, No, it's a human, my brother, in fact. You have a human brother? Well, yes, I'm a human, but the brother is Dave. Dave! I know Dave, he's a cool friend. Dirk smiled, and me, sending chills chill down my arms. Is that so? Well, you better keep an eye on him. To be continued. And, God willing, it will never be continued. <laughs> uh, yeah, this thing came out in, like, 2015, so I don't think that it's ever gonna be made past this point but anyway there it is the entirety of alice karkle the fanfic and thank god that it's over because i did not want to have that sort of damocles hanging over me any longer than i had to uh so now that it's done uh i'm gonna call it here i hope you all have a delightful day and here's uh to a thousand subscribers May the next 4,000 come swiftly. Until then, I'll see you around, drive safely, and have a delightful day. Bye-bye!